It's a small town in northeastern Thailand. When you ask Thai people about Surin, the first thing that pops up in their minds is elephants. It is because Surin locals, as known as Gui people, have lived with elephants for a thousand years. Let's get to know Surin by learning about the relationship between Surin people and elephants together. First, let's pay respect to Prakhu Pakam. It is a local belief for Mahals to ask for blessings from their master to be able to have a good relationship with the elephants. Second, let's learn how the elephants eat. They usually are fed with local fruits like bananas and sugar canes, as well as other plants. Local vet regularly take care of them with proper medicines and medical treatments. Third, as locals are superstitious. We believe that going under an elephant for three rounds will bring us luck. <music> Lastly, I visited a local village where Gui people live. My Gui friend told me that in each house there's at least one elephant living with them. So impressive. I also had a chance to take their elephants for a bath in a swamp. Let's see how much fun we had. This morning, I came to pay respect to Surin City Pillar, which has a Khmer-influenced architectural design. Surin is an ancient city with plenty of cultural heritages influenced from Khmer culture. Before visiting famous historical sites here, let me pick some traditional pieces to wear to get some memorable photo shots from Surin. Paul, well, how are you? I'm great, thank you. I'm glad to be back here to Surin again. This is my second visit. I searched five years ago. It's yes, years you remember last time yes. we visited a lot of places, uh -huh. and this time it's my first time at this prasad. Oh. What is it called? It's prasad ban phuang. Prasad ban phuang. Yes, okay. because the whole area is called ban phuang. Yeah, I heard uh, there's a Khmer influence of this architectural design of this prasad, this right? One? Yes, actually everywhere in Surin, because like here. Um, to be by the history, we used mm. to be a part of uh, Khmer Empire before. Empire. Uh -huh. So, as the prasad itself, we have it in our uh, the slogan of the province. Okay. Yeah, it's one of the important Khmer castle or temple in Surin. Sure, sure. This is the east side, right? Yes. Yeah. You can so see. this is East Gate, and I can see this is kind of a symbolic, symbolic lintel uh -huh. yeah. of this place. That one on top of the elephant, you see. Indra, Indra, yeah, Indra, Indra, Indra. And that is Era One elephant. Uh -huh. So let's take a look at the other side. Here you can see animals. Do you yeah. see? Do you see them? Like a crocodile. Oh yeah, that's like, over there. Like swan or chicken or duck and, and a horse. Yes, that's wonderful because normally 
in this kind of um, temple is gonna have just only the Indra yes a big but here have like no animals here let's come to see the north side okay. I've heard there's a different type of carving you see that Prakrishna or Krishna is kind of defeating over the serpent Prasasi Karapum is actually one of the must visit places in Surin. Yes, right? of course. Uh -huh. Because this is the most complete Khmer um, style here. Because you can see we have one, two, three, four, and five. five. Actually, this is the main one. Mm. And on top here, this is called Nataraja. Mm. And here we have the art that is the symbolized Dangobat. Let's talk to our expat friend from South Korea about her view on Surin. She said she was very impressed with the Elephant Festival here. I think uh, 200 or 200. More. Yeah, Elephant is the... So, I think it's this so big event. Oh, uh, unforgettable. In Surin, it's Tisu, it's Kon people oh is very renowned for producing high quality Thai silk let me take you to Ban Thasawang, a local village where Thai silk is meticulously created. I also learned about silk making process at Surin Yoktong Silk Learning Center, Ban Chan Soma. For our region, we use uh, very small, very, the finest silk thread. Uh, we are skillful in uh, rearing the, the silk, since rearing the silk thread from the cocoon and uh, we select the very tiny part of the silk thread to, to make the silk and then start weaving and we uh, combine with a special technique that is an original technique of uh, Surin hand weaving silk. We have three to four dye stuff that wow. we use for uh, create the primary color uh, and we can create for the second uh, color level of color for many many shades as you require, if, such as a red color from black, from black. and blue from indigo, ah. and um, yellow from uh, brahot. The pattern very special uh, because Ajahn Viratham, the founder, he graduated from. Thai traditional Pao Chan, yeah, Thai traditional painting faculty, and uh, the style is the central uh, Siamese style, royal style, and uh, he designed for the Queen Mom firstly, and then the, uh, after that uh, he he made for uh, government like uh, such as APEC. Leaders 2003, mm. the second 60th year to the throne of wow. King Rama the uh, okay. We we make the the show for the the queen and the emperor from 21 countries, uh, countries from all over the world. Bonjour, Marco and Thomas. Enchanté. 
Okay. What brought you here to Surin? Um, we've been traveling in Thailand for almost two months and we were trying to go to some places that are not so touristic. Okay. And we, we had a book and internet and with some research we decided to move to Isan and this side of Thailand. This wow. That's why we're here. How did you travel to by Surin? Bus, yeah, by bus, yeah, yeah, bus. train. Wow, train station, okay. Why are you interested about Thai silk, you know, and come here? We've heard that uh, Thai silk is very, very famous in mm. the world. Yes. Um, and this place especially, yeah. uh, because we knew it's, uh, uh, this, in this place, um, it's uh, fabricated the, the silk for the royal family. Yeah. And uh, that's why we are here. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Okay. <laughs> Traveling to Surin is made easy by bus or train. Both bus terminal and railway station are situated in the town center, so it is convenient for travelers to further catch a local taxi to their destinations. From Bangkok, buses and trains take approximately six hours to Surin. Surin has nice accommodations in the town center with facilities you need for either leisure or business travels. Hotel staff is happy to assist you with travel plan. Hope you enjoyed learning about cultural heritages from this ancient city. Surin people are waiting to welcome you. Please stay tuned for more great stories from amazing Thailand.